yeah, it's really IMSA. It's providing a the IMSA Lights class. That's an amazing uh, class for my kids to to start their career in racing, learn all the tracks in the U.S., and then follow my footsteps in the in the APC and DP programs that we have in the shop. And and then the car is just really nice. I drove it at Sebring. It was it was really challenging. Really really nice class and. And I think it'll be competitive enough for them to get a really a good baseline of their of their knowledge in in, in sports car racing uh, overall. So yeah, it's fun. It's it's it, I got time to spend you know with them on the weekend. So uh, even though I'm still racing actively around the world in WC and DP programs, I I have time with them. They can't. They, this year the the non conflict uh, schedules are really good for me, so I can come and enjoy with them. Uh, and here in, in Laguna, we have also our PC team running for the first time in, in the series. So, yeah, it's, it's actually, uh, I've become a dad, a coach, and a basic engineer, driver uh, development program by myself. But, uh, yeah, it's a lot of time, good times with them. And uh, we don't get to spend much time together at home either because I'm flying around all the world. But uh, this is just an amazing class to do so. Oh, I do a lot of work with them with videos, even, even you know, in iRacing, uh, just to teach them, you know, little tricks here and there. They're all the tracks that we've been to for years. And, and that's as much as I can give them. Because when they get behind the wheel and they put the helmet on, they're on their own out there. I, on the, I go on the radio a lot. I talk to them every, every corner. I talk to them on the radio if I see anything. So I think, yes, I try to help as much as I can. But, uh, but it's hard to get away. You know, sometimes they listen to a coach better to the dad because the dad talking is always a dad talking, not a coach. So I get Elton to help me out a little bit on that. And, but no, they're doing a good job, and I'm really happy that, they, that he finished really well at Sebring for his first time there. He was running fourth, solid fourth, and, and so we're really proud of him on his job there. And, and we'll just take it as a learning. I, I, I try to keep their expectations really, uh, really realistic. Um, you know, there's, there, everybody else has been running these tracks forever, and they're running the car for many years. So if you have to come here and, and, and just go out there and do their job and concentrate on, in our own program, and then we'll see what happens with the results later on. Yeah, when I started racing kartings a long time ago, like six years ago, I raced three years, I win two championships. Uh, I jump into Formula 2000 and 600. Uh, only practicing like in Venezuela, like in Venezuela, the, the category is slow, so it's like three or four cars. So my first time here is with Skip Barber in the United States. So I raced a couple of races with uh, Skip Barber, and um, now like I want to follow the, the steps of, of my dad. And um, it's a like IMSA is the best category to to jump in. Yeah, it's pretty good because like him, I can I can learn a lot of like uh, the tracks, how to drive better, how to control the car. So yeah, it's pretty good half of that like that. Uh, it's difficult because always my brother want to compete more and more and more. And always it's one of the brothers like is more like no I wanna win, I wanna win, I wanna win. So half my brother in the same category, it's the first year that, that happened. And it's pretty good. It's more competition. The IMSA helped me to learn the drags, how like the fastest, like this is the fastest car I drive. And like the next year with the PC car, like it's going to be easier. So that helped us a lot. With the A Star Motorsport. Uh, this, game, this team is from my dad. He is the world champion in WEC. He was winning several times here in the Ferrari Challenge. Uh, when he decided to make the, the team, he decided to put us Christian and me to race with him and uh, get, get involved more in the racing stuff, right? And we decided to go to the IMSA Lights. It's a nice series to keep going up to the Daytona prototypes and stuff. So I think uh, we just have to get used to a car, right? I like everything. Uh, we came from Venezuela to race a uh, Formula 6000, uh, 1600, and, and we, we're just getting used to it. You know, it's faster cars, new trucks, so we'll try it there. But I don't think it's something impossible. We, we, today we proved that we are almost here. In, in Sebring, Christian proved that we are here, that we are a good team. And we're just going, going up, I don't know. And, just trying. He has hope a lot, actually. Yeah. Uh, I raced the F2000 series here in the US, and I know a few tracks, but I'm, everything is new for me here in the USA, right? So it's first time here in Laguna Seca. Uh, maybe when we go to Mosport, I know the track already, but everything is new for me. I, I didn't know the series, so that's why I, didn't, I decided to don't race. It's a fast track. But 
we are there. I think we are we are getting used to it. it uh, and it's helping a lot. The publicity in Venezuela is a lot, and we are trying to form more sponsors from USA, and not from Venezuela. But I think we can do it. Yeah. Uh, against my brother, we always competing. <laughs> I'm 21, and he's 16, and we always competing. That's for life, for the rest of life. And my dad sometimes has to say shut up because he's talking too much. So I have to hey, please don't talk in this lab and just trust me out. So, no, but it's good. He's trying to help. He knows the tracks are really good. And Christian, I think, is a little jealous because I was faster than him in this practice. But no, we are there. Actually, it's good.